All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your man, BT Neanderthal. Welcome back for another video. We're going to be doing a Boazon guide. We're going to show you a little bit of gameplay first. Um, this is hell difficulty, by the way. This is for Path of Diablo. We're doing a build guide. That's the plan. Um... Just as a heads up, it looks basically the exact same when doing maps. Uh, as long as you're doing the right maps and you're, um, you know, you're not doing fizz res, all that good stuff. Fizz res is probably the one thing that slows you down or like physical immunes. Like those things are like really not what you want to be fighting when playing the specific bows on that I'm about to show you. So yeah, just just demonstrating. So big density, you can imagine how crazy the damage is. But anyways, let's go on to the actual build guide here. Uh, we're gonna talk about gear first. So first things first. Um we have a faith bow. I'm going with the faith bow uh, demonstration here. You could also go with like wind force, but that's going to require a different setup. And that is not something I'm going to be covering unless I actually build it myself. So all the, these build guides that I plan on actually making are things I actually played myself and I have experience with. They're not like, there's some basic theory crafting behind it, but it's not like, you know, Oh, I only theory crafted and I didn't actually play it at all. So that's that's the the reason I'm making these guys is because I actually have experience with these things. So um level 13 fanaticism is like perfect um for this for this uh faith bow. Uh twelve I believe you need ninety-nine IES, so increased attack speed. And you can check that in Path of Diablo by pressing the 8 button. I currently have 100, but you need 95 with uh, level 13 fanaticism. You always want to try to break, hit the top break point. Um, that is, that is like the best bang for your buck. You're going to be getting the most life steal. You're going to be getting the most damage output and mana steal. And it, yeah. Max breakpoint, very important. So, 13 fanaticism will allow you to get to uh, will allow you to get max breakpoint with 95, I believe, and then I think it's 99 if you're at 12. So it's a little rough. You can still reach it, like with my current setup, I can still reach it. But anyways, I should speed up the process here because I don't want to spend all day talking about the IS breakpoint here. But yeah, try to hit max max breakpoint. You can do a little research yourself. Um, it's important for the boson. So, two skills, it actually does matter, um, you know, the plus skill in Path of Diablo actually gives you some flat damage, we'll talk about that in a little bit later. So then we have Endaril's Visage, um, on softcore, Endaril's Visage, like, is the play. Um, I put 2 15 IES, uh, 15 IES ED jewels in there. Um, totaling 52 ed and 30 is so they weren't like you know 40 15s but those are very expensive as you might know on uh pod and i'm running a cham rune right now because i dropped raven frost as you can see we do not have raven frost i dropped raven frost so i could have wisp projector which is a good team buff so if you're playing with a lot of people wisp projector is like best in slot if you're playing with a lot of people that Spirit Aura gives like 10% damage, which is awesome. And you get fast run walk, light absorb MF, all that good stuff. Cat's Eye is a good option here. Um, people, I've heard people say High Lords is alright too, because you get the 20 IS and the plus skill. But like, honestly, with slow maps in this current season, um, this is like September 30th, by the way, um, of 2020. And with this current season that we played, there's a slow effect on maps. This is the first like uh, iteration of maps with like affix affixes on them. So yeah, there's a slow thing, and fast run walk really helps counter that. So you want to stack as much fast run walk as you can. 
generally speaking, with the bows on, that's kind of what you want to do anyways. But anyways, um, also I have a mana steel ring here, if I can show it. Holy crap. Also has strength. Now that's actually kind of important for the setup that I'm doing. We'll get into that a little bit more. But I have mana steel here. And magic find. The mana steel is the most important stat on that ring. Fortitude. Obviously the higher ED you have, the better. Uh, the other stats don't really matter that much. Like res and life. You, like, they're okay. But like on a softcore boson, you just kind of want to go full damage in my opinion. Um, and just like good offense is a good defense type of thing. Now, if you're in hardcore, you probably want to get some of those, those, uh, defensive stats up higher. Um, anyways, Razor Tail is probably like best in the slot here. On, on hardcore, I actually did play hardcore boson as well. Um, you can go String of Ears with Pierce on it, and that'll actually work pretty well. Because um, it gives you that extra DR. Also, for the helmet, if you're playing hardcore, you probably want to go V gaze for the extra, um, for the extra like DR and survivability there. Um, then you can actually drop an, a mana leech ring and then use like Raven Frost or something, whatever. This, whatever you want to do, but make sure you always have cannot be frozen as well somewhere on this build. It's important. Um, so yeah, Razor Tail, if you don't have enough pierce for some reason, or plus skills or whatever, you can try to find a 41% piercing attack Razor, uh, Razor Tail. Um, another thing here is Lay of the Hands. Now they're normally 20 IAS, these ones are 30 IAS. Um, you can corrupt them for the 10 IAS, uh, corruption, and you'll get 30. So... That's important because what we were talking about earlier with the um, breakpoints, if I did not have these gloves with 30 IS, then I would not be hitting the max breakpoint. <clears throat> also, War Travelers, not just because of Magic Vine, but the main reason why we're running War Travelers is because of the flat damage that that adds. It adds 15 to 25 damage. On top of that, you have fast run luck and you have MF, which is kind of nice. Um, so I get this question a lot too. What are good arrows? So these are extremely good arrows, actually. Um, probably one thing I'd change on them right now, instead of mana gained on ranged hit, that actually pretty much does nothing. I dropped my mana ring before and uh, I tried... To get like, you know, I tried, I tried the mana gain on ranged hit. It doesn't do anything pretty much. Um, so what you'd want is like mana leech there and then you could drop, you know, a mana leech ring or, or something else for more damage or survivability or whatever you want to go for. But anyways, the main things you want to look for are maximum damage and flat damage. Those are the most important stats on arrows. So with a max damage roll, um, it is the one that you're looking for is you know the based on character level, that is 0.625 based on character level. Uh, that's like the best roll that you can have on the rare arrows. So that in combination with a nice high uh, flat damage, which is right below it. So you have the plus one skills, you get the max damage based on character level. Then you have the flat damage. Now that flat damage is actually a fairly high roll. Um, I don't know how high it actually goes up to, but I know that's a fairly high roll because it's one of the higher ones I've seen. Um, it can go as low as like 10 or something. Um, but anyways, then there's also MF on this one. That's just nice quality of life. Um, definitely not necessary. Again, the only necessary ones are the max damage, 0.625 based on character level. And the flat damage, that's important. Plus skills actually helps out a lot, and again, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but like, that actually does add flat damage as well. And it helps with pierce and a few other things, but... Um, so yeah, skills or bow skills, also good. Also, another thing that's good is piercing attack and increased attack speed. 
Some people might go with a different pair of gloves. Um, you know, and you'll have increased attack speed on your arrows instead of on your gloves or something like that, for example. Or piercing attack. Maybe you don't want to use razor tail. Maybe you want to use a pierced string of ears or something like that. Then you can go with piercing attack arrows. Something like that. So, and then on swap here, we have call to arms and uh, littlest wall just for the plus one. Now, in POD, I only recommend doing this if you're like super rich because let me show you real quick the CTA. So we have plus one skill there, which is nice. Um, but we have 1191 health, and when I use battle orders, I don't even gain 100 health, man. That's like 90 health or something like that. So, not very good. Only for if, if you're like super rich, then you want to go for something like that. As far as like Merc gear, real, real quick, I'm going to go over that. I haven't really min maxed him. He's kind of just an aura bot, to be honest. Um, so, you could go with Plague or Silence, is my recommendation. The cleansing aura is actually pretty important because. Um, there's so many, like, maps that have, like, um, modifiers with curses on it. So, cleansing is very important. I might actually recommend Plague, depending on what your setup is. So, um, also you definitely want Melee Splash in your Merc's helmet. So I have a 15 IS Melee Splash tool in there. Um, Treachery, because I actually like Fade, and I actually like the increase attack speed and stuff like that but um so yeah that's what i'm currently using you could also use fortitude there's other options plague like i was saying uh v gaze maybe i don't know whatever you want but um steel shade actually in path of diablo is actually pretty good as well but um let's talk about charms and why i have what i have so bow skillers let me tell you about this so max damage and bow skillers are like two things that people usually go for. So I'd say the most important stat is actually faster run walk after you have your damage. So what do I mean by that? Bow skillers have plus six due to your multi shot. See how it says deals 100% of weapon damage and then below that current level and below that there's the flat damage line. And that's the thing I was talking about earlier. Um, every time you have plus one skills, it adds six um, minimum damage and six maximum damage. So overall, that's an additional 12 damage versus the maximum damage on, um, on these charms, so like max damage AR charms. Now they do have um, reasons to have, like, there are reasons for both. Um, for example, on Faith we have Ignore Target's Defense, which is really nice, but on bosses, that doesn't really help. So attack rating can help uh, with bosses a lot. Granted, we'd be using Immolation Arrow, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So, Bone Crossbow, they have a higher average damage. Um, and then, Max Damage Charms, they're used for more characters, so that's why they're more expensive. Also, if you don't know this already, um, when I take this off, right, when I take a bow and crossbow skill, if we look at my sheet multi-shot, it's not adding that much damage. Whereas we take the max damage charm off, it's like 100 damage, right? So what is that doing? It is actually taking, um, actually this is a better example, so 6 and 6, as you can see, it'd be 1376. And then 1504, and then 5398 to 15 or 5404. So it doesn't show on the tooltip all your ED buffs. So that's why it's like a hidden damage. Whereas max damage actually shows all the tooltip damage from all these ED items. So the tooltip is bugged. But um, so why do I have what I have? So, bow and crossbow, like I said, higher average damage, and way cheaper. Um, max damage and faster run walk is the reason why I'm actually using these, because I had the ability to have, uh, to use faster run walk here. So, 
Fast run walk is important, as I talked about earlier, because of the slow effect that happens on maps. So, and then for small charms, we have uh, max damage and AR pretty much almost on every slot. And then we have um, some MF. I also have like a faster hit recovery one so I can hit a break point and stuff like that. So it's important to check your break points and any an Amazon torch, all that stuff. So that's kind of the gear. Um, I already talked about the Merc a little bit. We're going to talk about my skills. Okay. And then we're going to actually go over my stats. Also, I have, um, yeah, about bugging my uh, character as well. That's something I do with this character. Uh, we talked about a little bit on um, flat damage with multi-shot, right? So each point in multi-shot actually adds six flat damage. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, so this is my point allocation. Absolutely nothing in Jav. And spear skills passive we put basically one point into everything um, we max out lethal strike we want to make sure that we're at a hundred percent pierce at least a hundred percent because 99 to 100 percent is actually pretty important when you're doing super thick dense maps like that's actually important because you're going to be piercing through every single monster as long as that arrow travels versus like most of the time it's gonna pierce everything so it's a guarantee versus like okay it's probably gonna do it um, so 100% pierce try to make sure you get 100% pierce with all my plus skills so for example like my arrows and my two skills here from faith I only have to put one point into pierce um, we want to max lethal strike and then we want to max fire arrow and immolation arrow technically we want to max uh, immolation arrow first and multi-shot first and then the synergies for the burn we don't really care about the actual damage from immolation arrow because it's not doing most of the damage most of the damage here if you can see um, actually comes from the burn not necessarily from the hit so we don't care about exploding arrow we only care about immolation or er, immolation and fire arrow um, and the multi shots are main skill. I also use magic arrow for like dual immunes. It actually does some good damage. Um, when I say dual immunes, physical and fire. So yeah, what I was saying earlier, one point in each in the left, one point in each in the right, max lethal strike, and then my remainder points, I just go like this. I go dodge, avoid, evade. I just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, every time I level. Like, that's just what I do. Because in Path of Diablo, the animation is uh, a lot better than vanilla. So you don't get, like, perma-stuck. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the skills. It's kind of fairly straightforward. And then, as far as points go, because I have... Um, or, like, stats. Because I have Annie and Torch and all my gear, um, I don't actually need any points in the strength. So I have zero points in the strength. I have... 420 decks for the memes, and then I just dump Vitality. Um, now you can go full, uh, full dexterity if you want. The boson, boson usually gets one shot anyways, but like, um, you know, if it, if you f find it a pain in the ass, then you might want to dump some Vitality in there. So I exited the game and rejoined because of this reason. Um, I wanted to show you guys that I am strength bug. I have zero points in the strength right now. I'm just gaining um, attributes from the gear I'm wearing. So that's why I actually have a 30 strength amulet. I actually don't technically need 30 strength, but if I just pop that on and pop it off real quick, all my gear is equipped now. Even when I swap. So yeah, that's important. Uh, that's pretty much the boson guide guys and uh i don't think i really missed anything if i did let me know in the comments below definitely appreciate it also check out my twitch if you haven't already and uh yeah i usually spent most of my time oh also real quick so about the ring i didn't talk about that uh i have strength on the ring because i'm strength bugged so that's why i chose strength on the ring as well as mana leech and mf and light res and max and ar and 
etc etc um but yeah again it's part of the strength bug so that's why i have that anyways thank you all for joining us today and watching hope you all have a fantastic day